So guys, just got back home from school. Now you may be wondering what the hell is that thing right here. Basically it's my mic. I mean, I used to use this thing all the time. Um, I don't really understand why I don't anymore. Um, the mic on the Sony a7 itself is pretty good, but obviously a external mic will always be better. Um, so we're gonna test it out for a little see if it's actually worth you know lugging this thing on top I'm not sure if you guys can tell let's how can I make this easier there is if you can't tell basically the thing broke off uh, the plastic attachment fell off uh, so I had to put a like some black tape and kind of DIY it it's pretty crappy but it'll do so I had to do that for this now I'm gonna have to do it for another piece of my equipment Basically my beats, um, they're literally just about to break and there are a 300 pound pair of headphones and I really don't want to buy a new one so we're going to try and DIY it before it like just completely snaps off and breaks. So guys, being as gentle as possible, here's sort of what it's looking like. It's just... crap, okay. Uh, it's very, very flimsy like you see even I pointed that way and it's just lost all its... Uh, rigidness or rigidity. I, I don't know if that's a word, but you get my point. <laughs> like, it's seriously this close about to breaking. So, we're gonna try and tape this up. Ta da! Alright, guys, so I would say that is a pretty clean job. So, what I went ahead and did was used this, and I. Okay, if you focus, yeah, basically went ahead, just taped it around. As I said, it's only actually the right one which is affected, but I thought I would do it on the left side as well. So now at least it looks like I have the Beats Commando Edition, Beats Blue Commando Edition, um, rather than some shitty torn up, you know, um, refurbished model. But yeah, honestly, I'm pretty happy with that, guys. Like, I'm, once again, it's hard to convey with one hand free but this doesn't look like it's gonna move so I can't twist it and fold it but at least it won't break and at least I don't have to buy a new pair happy with that I just got off the phone with the owner of the club that I run their social media for I do the content curation and then the distribution and Jesus Christ guys in the past year what I've learned about business marketing branding it's crazy I mean, just even talking to him and realizing, you know, how I'm screwing up in the protocol in terms of actually showing, you know, the progress because we're making really good progress. I'm really happy with the way we're going. It, the content is amazing. And then uh, the growth is coming along with that um, through, you know, search engine optimization and actually engaging with the community. But, um, you know, I'm not showing him that and, you know, just jumping off that call um, that's something I realized <clears throat> But yeah, seriously the education I'm getting is incredible and I'm not trying to be rude at all when I say this but This sort of real-world education compared to what you get in a classroom <laughs> There's no comparison Frank Ocean's new album very very good so I just got home from school and I got a text from Ted basically telling me about the Post Malone concert. Um, and then he also told me about the Schoolboy Q, which is on the same week. And a couple of my other friends were telling me about Schoolboy. So, basically I went ahead and booked the Schoolboy Q tickets right now. Um, and I will go ahead and book the Post Malone tickets probably tomorrow once they go live. They go live at 9 o'clock tomorrow, so I'll pick them up. They're only like 17 pounds, super cheap. Uh, 9 o'clock tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to pick them up. So guys, one thing I've always been super bad at is eating clean. Now I know you might not imagine it considering my physique. I'm <laughs> extremely, extremely lean. But the way I've always pitched it to myself is my caloric output is so high just my basal metabolic rate is so great that 
you know, the input, the amount of food that I eat has to be even greater for me to grow. So, you know, I'll go to McDonald's, I'll go to Subway, I'll have three Reese's cups, like three packets of Reese's cups in one sitting, which is, by, by the way, that's like 900 calories. Um, and the way I always pitch it to myself is, it's fine, it's, it's for your growth, it's for your physical growth, but, you know, let's think mentally. So, if you guys have ever read a book called The Ultra Mind Solution, um, basically in that book, it talks about the effect of food on your brain, um, and I am nowhere near as creative as I can be, as disciplined as I can be, um, as happy as I can be, because the food I'm eating just isn't on point. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've made a plan. I have off campus five times a week. Um, so four times a week, I am bringing in food myself because if I go off campus, my options are pret manger McDonald's, Subway. Even if I try to Uber Eats or Deliveroo to my school, you know, something like the Good Life Eatery, that's like 15 pounds. So a place like the Good Life Eatery, the micronutrients, the nutritional content is really good. But I can't pay 15 pounds for that. Maybe not now. Maybe, who knows, in a year <laughs> I'll, be, uh, I'll be doing that every day. But at this point, that's not something I can afford. So I've gone ahead and made a plan. Um, every meal is roughly 1,000 calories, good high-quality calories, good glycemic index, which means I won't crash in the same way that you get after a Subway or a McDonald's. Um, you know, I just want to have way more mental clarity. And the reason I'm doing this is basically I'm making, I'm building a lot more systems in my life and putting a lot more organization into my life because I have so much stress. I have so many projects. I have so much work. <laughs> that, like, if I went ahead and did what normal people did, do in terms of their food, in terms of their sleep, in terms of, you know, their self-talk, in terms of what they tolerate, I couldn't have the things I have. You know, if I tolerated bullshit from other people, or more importantly, from myself, the same way that other people do, I couldn't have the ambition, the drive, or have the connections, or have the projects and opportunities that come my way that I do. So, you know, it kind of sucks, you know, honestly, I would rather just go out with my friends and not have to worry about prepping meals, but it's just something that comes with it. But yeah, putting a lot more thought and systems in place, uh, it's just part of the life I've chosen to live. So guys, next order of business is Lewis, who's probably, he's been on the vlog a couple times, he told me about a couple abandoned construction sites, so we are off to go check that out. Apparently there's like three buildings in a row, so if we can't get into one, then we'll try the other two, but um, I seriously hope this works out. When I find new construction sites, new derelict buildings, I always get so, so excited. So guys, we are at the location. Um, basically we found, a, it's like a super big building. We found a way in through basically like just outside of the river. Uh, went there there are it's a really really cool location it's super super high up um, but there are workers there right now it's a Thursday at like six o'clock so at least now I know this place I'll definitely be back here at a more let's say discreet time and uh, I'll do a shoot then but for now we're we're at a cool location anyways so we'll go and we'll find another place to take some photos shame about this place though Yes, I don't believe you, and I think you don't believe to. So why don't you take all these So I found this super cool location. <laughs> I'm literally under railroad tracks, and a train just went above me right now. And there's a helicopter flying above, so... Interesting! So guys, I'm really liking this location. Basically, you can climb up from there, up to there, and you are basically under a bridge which is super cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. You find little interesting spots wherever you go, really. Good shoot so far. Still searching, still looking for cool spots. It's getting quite dark out. Um, I know there are some cool locations down there, uh, quite modern. Um, it is getting quite dark out, but with the Sony A7 Mark II, you can blast the ISO quite high up, put the shutter speed real low, and still get some Pretty, pretty cool. So I ended up finding 
two skateboarders and we ended up doing a little shoot uh, back there and then at this other cool little like skating area. So I will cue the edit, which I'm going to be posting on my new Instagram, which I'm going to talk about a bit later, but yeah, I'll post the edit in three, two, one. So guys, that will conclude this vlog. Um, once again, very, very scattered. I think it ran between like three, four days. It has been so hard to organize everything that is going on in my life recently. There is, as I said, just so much going on, so many new projects, so much actual work that I'm contracted under, so it's not like I can just get lazy and sleep. <sighs> but right now, literally before I did this, <clears throat> I spent an hour and a half completely building a new model, looking at how the smartest people in the world organize their day, organize their week. And um, I found a model that works for me that I really like. So I will show you guys that in the next episode. But to conclude, I just want to say that um, what you saw, the skateboard edit that you saw within this, that was for my new Instagram. And basically that Instagram is for my photography and videography services. So, um, you know, I've always been able to monetize my passion and once I see a sort of interest in something, I go with it. Because having passion for something is the greatest blessing you could ever have. And that's sort of what happened with videography and vi uh, photography. I took a liking to it very, very quickly. And um, there have been a lot of cool opportunities that have opened up since. And I get people messaging me now, emailing, emailing me or DMing me or through my Snapchat. Uh, and now I'm getting paid to do video shoots and photo shoots and stuff like that, which is super, super cool. So I thought I would make it professional and have my own uh, Instagram for it, and then I might open up a website soon. But I'm going to leave my new... Yeah, let's do it right here. I'm going to leave my new Instagram right there. Seriously, guys, please go check it out. I got a lot of comments saying that you guys like the way I do my photography, um, you guys like my videography, you like the edits. Any sort of um, fitness edits that I do from now on will be up on there, as well as uh, lifestyle edits like the skateboard one you saw. And any of the photos on there are me uh, of other people, but you know guys, if you really want to support me, that would mean the world to me. Um, I don't know, it's something that I'm taking very very keen interest in and I just want to go with it so if you enjoy this video please leave a like it means more than you could ever imagine these things take forever to make please go check out my new Instagram leave a comment below if you have and what you think of that what you think of it and what you think of the feed style which I'm gonna go with we out in three two I got two one for the plug and one for the load I got two phones One for the beaches and one for the dog Think I need two more Line popping, I'm ring, ring, ring